Number eight from paper two of the 2014 National Five. Here we are, indices. Just working with indices in this little fractional expression here. Three marks. Now, this is a question where if you state the correct answer without any working, you'll get three out of three. And you can, because you can just look at that and see the answer straight away. Three marks in as many seconds. So how do they spread out these three marks? Well, there should only really be two parts to it. Because when you're multiplying terms, there's two parts to terms. You've got the coefficient, that's the number, and then you've got the variable. And when you multiply terms together, you multiply the coefficients, and you multiply the variables. And if the variables happen to be the same, there's no point in putting them down twice. You simply put down whatever that correct power or index should be. So, coefficients first. 10 divided by 2 is 5. It's all n's, so the final answer must be n to some power. How do you find that? Well, if they're multiplying, you would add them. And if they're dividing, you subtract them. So, you could just do that in your head. Remember, of course, that n on its own is power 1. So, you would just say 5 plus 1 is 6. Take away 2 is 4. And there's your answer. And that's why you would get the marks just for stating it. The only working I can think of putting down would be to say, well, if I'm multiplying, I'll add them, so I'll show that by putting 5 plus 1. And if I'm dividing, I'll subtract it, so take away 2. And then I get 5n to the power 4, as before. And the three marks were 1 for dealing with the coefficients, 1 just for doing the numerator part, and then 1 for doing the subtraction to get the 4. Whereas in reality, you could just do that all in one go. Well, that was an easy little three-mark question.